I don't know where they laid him. I don't want to know. If I see the grave and read his name there, then I will have to admit that he is gone. I am not ready to do that. There are still too many things unsaid between us. I'm not finished learning all he had to teach me, and I won't accept his passing. In that first course with him, I judged him deranged. He wandered into the classroom. It wasn't a direction. He was not purposeful in his entry. He just ambled absent-mindedly with his forehead angled slightly toward the ceiling as if he was counting the tiles. He clutched his thick literature textbook firmly in his left hand and held the volume close to his side. When he reached the table at the front of the classroom, he latched his gaze on the portable lectern standing on the table. He kept his eyes on it as he walked around the table. He turned his gaze to us a moment and said, Who left this here? With that, he pushed the wood-looking metal object off the table. It clattered to the floor with a tremendous racket. He lay the textbook on the table, went around to the chalkboard, took up a piece of chalk, turned around, military-like, took three steps, bent at the waist, and looked to be carefully preparing to stand the chalk on the desk. Then, still bent at the waist, he lifted his eyes to me. Of course I was front and center. It took me a long time to get back in school, and I was dead serious about getting my teaching credentials. So I didn't waste time or attention sitting anywhere else but up front and at center. He glared at me with the darkest eyes, nearly black. His brows were very long and bushy, and the lines of his face looked him out to be probably in his late sixties. After a good three seconds, he again turned his attention to the chalk and stood it on its end, on the upper right-hand corner of the desk. Then he lifted his eyes to me again. He still bent at the waist. He looked at me as if I was supposed to see some kind of purpose in his actions. Then he just waited as if this was some kind of inside joke between us. I finally grew so uncomfortable that I looked to the student across the narrow aisle to my right. It was a great relief to see she appeared as bewildered as I was. Yada.